Hey all Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon opening. Before we begin, I just want to show something pretty cool that my girlfriend's been working on. So she started doing this new craft called uh, Paint by Diamonds. And basically you put these little like uh, shiny bead things on this painting or picture. And like we kind of have some Pokemon, um, some stars and stuff, but it looks it kind of has like a starry night kind of vibe. So I thought that was pretty cool. And basically at the beginning of the videos, we'll kind of show the progress as it's coming along. As you see, we got a, she's got a very big, good uh, jump start on it. So, um, yeah, something cool, and let's get into the opening. All right, for today's break, we have six Hidden Fates tins. These are for our patron, Tyler. Tyler, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to open these for you. And he said he's looking for, obviously he wants a shiny Charizard. The other one it would be a shiny Sylveon. He's looking for some good PSA candidates for his collection. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, these things take a while to open, be right back. All right, so we got our 24 packs out of those tins, it's six tins all together. And in case you haven't seen these new reprint tins, they, they kind of, um, you don't have to worry about the prongs of death, which I think is great, uh, but it is still not super straightforward to open it. In case you um, didn't know, I think my recommendation would be to just push the promo to the side, take a, like a fine pair of scissors and cut kind of like at this angle so it lines up so you can just get enough so that you can move the flap out of the way and then pull the promo to the side but either way I think it's a big improvement all right Tyler we'll see what we could do Sylveon or shiny Charizard here we go into our first pack we got a lot of packs to open so we'll probably speed roll these uh, I think we're all familiar with the cards of hidden fates by now so we'll start off with a big dud right there but yeah in case you guys want to get in on a break check out our patreon page tyler picked these up for the nice price of 15 dollars a pop and number two with the kangaskhan snorlax so far as far as these reprints um I don't know, I feel like the previous wave, I kind of struggled on with the Hidden Fates. Hopefully this one's better. I feel like so far, it's been pretty good. And uh, so we got our first hit, we got a full art birds. Very nice. Let's take a look at the centering. Oh, uh, I feel like it's pretty good. Um, this bottom one might be a little on the thick side, but I don't think that's enough to give it a nine. So I would say, good PSA candidate here if you still need a full art birds not one that's um you know crying to be graded but we will take it hopefully you can find some shinies and some shiny GX's get something good in that reverse slot a Caterpie and then a Blaine's was a left stand I hope everyone's having a good day and as always, if you guys do want to support the channel, uh, easiest way is just to be subscribed. And then we do have things like Patreon, uh, Twitch streaming. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Link all the links down below. All right, kind of a slow start. Probably like already through a tins, 10 plus, maybe a 10 and a half. And we do have our first shiny, a Malamar. I feel like when this uh, set first came out, this was definitely one that I wanted a kind of like a play set of. Uh, I feel like this centering isn't perfect, but pretty good. Left to right, definitely it looks like it's a little bit off. We got that psychic recharge ability. So these new prints, in case people are keeping up with like what seemingly are like different printings, uh, this is like the very textured, actually very textured and kind of like very glossy too. But obviously, like the, the the picture is kind of textured, but then the rest of the card is very much so as well. We got a shiny Magnemite, so two shinies. All right, we did get a double pack, um, but definitely not the biggest hits. Still looking for our first shiny GX or better. Uh, once again, centering feels pretty good. I uh, haven't been pulling. Ooh, haven't been pulling too many like shiny GXs. Actually, I think uh, on Friday's stream, we pulled a shiny lichen rock that looked very nice. Eh, I don't think anyone's too eager to grade a Wigglytuff. Alright, ratio is turning around. But still looking for some stronger hits. Alright, 
Ooh, there we go. A shiny Ho-Oh. That is much better. Be down for a second. And let's take a look at this shiny legendary bird. Not the best shiny, like he's... The color differences are not too great. I kind of would have preferred to pick a more drastic uh, shiny version. I do feel like the centering here is quite good. You know, I think a lot of times on the front that like, you can tell right away what the centering challenges are or yeah, where it's not perfect, but uh, here it's, you have to kind of look kind of closely, so. All right, I'm pretty happy with that pull. One of the better ones. And then just a Cleef Fable to Blaine again. Let's see, out of 24 packs, so kind of like hoping for low double digits. I feel like Hidden Fades, you can usually try to get that 50% hit ratio. Reverse energy. First one for that. Definitely Champion's Path has the far superior reverse energies. I just like the, I feel like it has a much cleaner look than these, I don't know, these like metal lines. Alright, so we're at like uh, five and a half, I guess. Just a wheezing to a Lapras. Reminder, if you guys do play the online game uh, and you are looking for some code, just attend our Twitch live streams where we do plenty of marble giveaways and such for packs. I think the last stream probably give away like 100, 100 CP slash Darkness Ablaze packs. Shoutouts to Garfield for basically sponsoring like all of those giveaways. Once again, so this print wave, I'm pretty happy with the centering. I feel like it's significantly better than the previous. Still looking for that Sylveon though and or shiny Charizard. Bill's analysis into Blaine again. <laughs> like a third Blaine. Alright, come on. Oh, in case you guys didn't see. Ooh, shiny Altaria. Okay. So we're getting a good amount of shiny GXs. But if you guys didn't see the news, so we started with the regular Charizard VMAX, then we got the Rainbow in a different set, and the Shiny V, and then another set is the Shiny VMAX. So it feels like Pokemon is really milking, you know, this uh, Shiny aspect as much as they can, and taking the Charizard VMAX and putting them across three different sets. Um, not too crazy about that. You know, I was like, alright, so we have to pull on Darkness of Blades and Champion's Path. Now, whatever this next set's going to be called. Um, and I'm curious what it's going to kind of do for all these Chase Charizards of modern times. Like, with, uh, I, actually, I guess Burning Shadows maybe is the first one, but then Hidden Fates and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like it's starting to be a lot... We got another shiny in Magneton. We got Magneton. Whoa, we have the entire evolutionary line. So we got a Magnemite, Magneton, and Magnezone. As far as having the entire evolutionary line, this is not the one I would pick. But uh, I think that's kind of cool. And we still have a good amount of packs. Already at 9 hits if you include the energy. So I feel like hit ratio, quite good for this opening. We say that we cool down with the Paris and Erica. But yeah, I feel like our breaks are pretty well priced. All these Hidden Fates tins were at fifteen dollars a pop. Reverse energy into a. This one is off center, but that's fine. First, a couple of regular sleeves for you. And we are running out of space for all of these hits. Was it right, you? I got maybe a tin's worth remaining. Uh, just a couple of supporters. How many we got left? 
six packs left. Alright, we still got some, still got a good number. Let's see if we can't finish this opening with a bang. Another reverse energy. Shiny Wimpod, a little shrimp into a golem. Wow, we actually have a lot of hits. Uh, pretty good centering once again. I think there's probably the most like um, penny sleeves I put on, you know, in a single hidden fates opening in quite some time. Actually, only opening 24 packs. All right, Tyler, let's get the cards you are looking for. Oh, God, that was, this is a good pack. I think um, my brain was just like figuring out what's going on. So I, I saw this and then I saw this and I saw a shiny, definitely a shiny card. And then I knew this was a Charizard. <laughs> my brain was trying to process all this information. It got super excited. But wow, what a pack. I think this is the like a rock we pulled last week. All right, let's take a look at this Charizard. I think this one is, um, you know, not too hard to pull. And I wonder, I wonder how many of these are being graded. And I do really like that art. Uh, I feel like this one's not super strong. And then the Lycan rock. And if you know the regular GXs are the thing that have the biggest centering issues. I I'm 100% all good with that. This Lycan Rock looks great. So what is that? Our third shiny GX. Um, we got a regular Charizard, the full Magnemite line. Who did it? Yeah, I did try to do the Wimpod. All right, come on. So I feel like this was a great opening. Ooh, a lot of wheezings, but doesn't look good for the Sylveon or the Charizard. Oh God, look at this pack. Jesus. Lucario, I think one of the better um, regular GXs and probably the best card you can get in the rare slots. So definitely a very good opening. Uh, yeah, looks good again. Lucario, I do really like Lucario, how they did that shiny. Actually, whenever they turn them like yellow, I guess that Magneton looks yellow, but uh, like Magikarp, you know, the OG. Lucario looks good. What else goes yellow? I'm sure there are others. All right, last pack for an amazing opening. All right, Tyler, this is it. Here we go. Oh boy, something. Ah, maybe stack attack it. Let's slow roll this one. That's my guess, stack attack, but another shiny GX. All right, Ekans, Paris. Oh wait, hit the, uh, it's coming up right here, I think. Ooh, Nihilego for our last pack. Wow. We didn't get uh, the two ones you're looking for. This centering looks good as well. But let's do a lengthy recap. We got a lot of stuff. Out of six tins. $15 a pop if you're interested in one. We still have a good amount of CP ETBs as well. And a Lucario, Wimpod, Wigglytuff, Magnemite, Full Art Birds, another legendary bird in Ho-Oh, Malamar, Magneton, Fire Energy, Nihilego, that's Shiny GX1, Rainbow Birds, Shiny GX2, Charizard, not the Charizard we're looking for, Shiny GX number three. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with these results and this this tin wave, it's great. I feel like so far it's been going much better than the previous one. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity for open this on your behalf. Uh, like, comment, subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.